What's up everybody, I'm Josh Meek, the Uber Geek. Welcome to Pretty Dece, your daily entertainment and pop culture show. Today on the show we're going to talk some comic books because one of my favorite comic book series of all time, Umbrella Academy, is finally returning with a new miniseries. The Umbrella Academy was a comic series that started almost 10 years ago. So far we've gotten two miniseries, a free comic book day one shot, and a couple other pages here and there as promos. We really haven't gotten all that much content out of the Umbrella Academy, but what we have gotten has been fantastic, and this October we're getting a third miniseries finally after all this time. The Umbrella Academy is written by Gerard Way. You might know his name as the lead singer of the band My Chemical Romance which might make you think that him writing this comic is kind of a, a stunt thing. It was like a, you know, let's give a comic over to this rock musician. And that's really not what it was. Gerard Way is a lifelong comic book fan and, and even writer. And these comics don't feel like it's someone's first, you know, foray into comic book writing. They feel like they are well thought out. Someone's taking it very seriously and someone really cares about this book. If I didn't tell you that he was in a rock band, you would probably never know that or, or think that or think anything weird about the, the writing style happening in this book. So that is the, the author of Umbrella Academy. He's, he's very, very serious about these comics and, and it really shows in, in the books themselves. The other half of the creative team behind Umbrella Academy is Gabriel Ba, and he is this incredibly talented artist with this really unique, distinctive style. Um, he gives all of Way's kind of bizarre characters and strange worlds this even more otherworldly feel, and this book wouldn't feel the same without him. So it really is a, a combo that makes Umbrella Academy as good as it is. And as you can tell, I'm a huge fan of Umbrella Academy, so I'm very excited about this upcoming third miniseries. But what is Umbrella Academy about? So far I've been gushing about it, but I haven't really talked about what it's about. So this is this weird series about this kind of pseudo-family of superheroes. Uh, the setup is that 43 super-powered infants were born to different mothers, none of which were really showing signs of pregnancy, and they were born all in the exact moment, all at the exact same time, so they're all the exact same age. And a man named Sir Reginald Hargreaves, who is an Olympian and an inventor and also a space alien, <laughs> which they don't really dive into too deeply, seeks these children out to adopt them. He finds seven of these kids, and these kids become our main characters in the story, but the very first issue of the very first miniseries opens with Hargreaves dying and all of the kids coming back together to kind of reconnect. So they started out as children. There's this whole history of them kind of being superheroes and interacting in this world that we just kind of get hints of as the story goes along. It's a really cool way to frame a story and is, is, is vastly fun to dive into and explore. You know, it's this kind of weird, strange thing that doesn't even sound like it would work, but it really has this kind of like punk rock, anything can happen vibe to it that you really just don't see in other comics. It feels like Way kind of has every inch of this world mapped out. And, and as I said, he kind of gives you little pieces of it as you go, which is kind of like frustratingly tantalizing. You just need to keep reading. You need to keep diving more into this world. And there's so many little things that they just hint at how it works, only to then come back later and give you a little bit more and a little bit more. And, and it's very, very cool how it's all put together. And the, the world building is kind of second to none in Umbrella Academy. Now, this new miniseries that's coming out this year is called Hotel Oblivion. And this was actually first announced in 2009, and we're just now getting it almost 10 years later. Uh, hotel Oblivion centers around this hotel slash prison uh, that is in a pocket dimension that Hargreaves created. Basically, he'd use this hotel to throw all of the criminals and stuff that he would catch into it. 
This hotel is actually mentioned very early on in passing in the first Umbrella Academy miniseries. Uh, the kind of main leader of the team mentions that Hargreaves always said no one escaped from the hotel. So very cool. It's a testament to the world building that Gerard Way did here with this story, how much he kind of fleshed it out, even without putting it on the page, that the idea for this hotel was kind of something that was there from the very beginning. And, you know, I I'm super excited about kind of everything that this series is going to hold. AV Club has some exclusive pages, kind of uh, the cover and then four pages of the, the comic, the first issue. It definitely still feels like Umbrella Academy. It feels like the same, same kind of writing style, the same art style after all these years, which I absolutely love. Uh, it's going to be a really awesome third act to Umbrella Academy. Now, the release of this series is actually timed with the release of the Netflix original series adaption of Umbrella Academy, which you may have heard about. Netflix is putting out a version of Umbrella Academy that's going to be starring Ellen Page, Robert Sheehan, Mary J. Blige. So they're putting a lot of talent behind this. They're really spending a lot of time. I, we've seen nothing of the series really so far. I'm a little cautious about the Netflix original series, obviously because they're just adapting a work that I love so much, but I, I'm cautiously optimistic. I'm really excited to kind of see what they've got going on. But as far as this new comic book miniseries goes, you know, written by Gerard Way, illustrated by Ba, I could not be more excited and I absolutely cannot wait. So that's going to do it for Pretty Dece for today. Thank you very much for joining me to gush about the Umbrella Academy. If you like this show and you want to see more new episodes of Pretty Dece premiere weekdays at 8 p.m. Eastern on twitch.tv slash pretty dece show. You can also check out all the uh, daily episodes, the past episodes on the podcast feed. And, of course, the video versions on the YouTube channel, which you can find at prettydeeshow.com slash video. Finally, you can follow me on Facebook and Twitter and Instagram at Show.